Hi, Nina here. I've been asked a question recently that I want to talk to you about, and it's, how much should I eat? I find that a very interesting question, because immediately when it's how much should I eat, it's as though the control of how much we need is out there, right? Someone else should tell us how much we need to eat. Now, I understand that way of thinking, because really our culture is chock full of people telling us what to eat and how much to eat and what's fattening and what's not. But I want to change the paradigm here. I want to invite you, instead of how much should I eat, I want you to turn around and start listening. What does my body need? Now, for some of us, we're pretty tuned into our body, great. But for a huge percentage of us, we're divorced from our body. Right? Somewhere along the line, we started living, I call it, next door to our body, right? And so there's a sense of, well, I don't know. I don't really know when I'm hungry. I don't really know, well, I know when I'm hungry usually, but I don't know when I'm really full. Or I don't know how much is enough. Or I don't know when to stop, right? Those are all questions of starting to be in relationship to your body more. That's the key here, creating a relationship with your body. And there's one really simple way to start this journey. There's many ways that I teach my clients how to really listen to their body, how to really tune in, how to know what foods work for them, all of that. But for today, I want to start you with one really, really simple way of tuning in. How much do I need? What does my body want? And that is to breathe. I know you're already breathing, right? You're alive, you're breathing. But really, breathe right down into your chest, right down into your belly, right into your body. Your breath is the doorway from the outside world to the inside world, right? It's a way for you to start having that communication happen. What does my inner experience really need? So I want you to Experiment with that this week. Experiment with breathing as you eat. It's a very powerful practice, I promise. And if you don't know sort of where to start, I'm going to encourage you to just take 10 seconds even before you start eating and just breathe. Many of us eat quickly and we sort of don't even breathe between bites. Stop, breathe, relax, right? So take your time and breathe this week and notice if that shifts the conversation into what should I eat and how much should I eat to listening to your body. What does my body need? Because that's the key, a really strong relationship with your body.